Hello everybody, I'm back playing some stick RPG today. Let's do an unlimited amount of time. Let's roll again. No, alright, that seems pretty good. I don't remember which stats are actually good, I have no idea, I haven't played this in so long. Okay, so we are this little blob character. I guess he's supposed to be a stick or something. He doesn't really look like a stick. I guess we'll go check out our house. Okay, we got some messages. Okay, hi. It's Richard from Mixed Sticks calling. Yeah, okay. I'm calling because you got the job, right? So you can just come in and start whenever, okay? Bye-bye. Alright, so that's the only message we have, so... Let's go ahead and save. Alright. So he's saying we got the job. We're working at mixed sticks. Okay. Yeah, so... Let's just work. Oops. So that puts a little bit of money up there. Six dollars an hour. Okay. Let's uh, talk to this guy maybe. What does he want? Can you spare some change? Give ten dollars. Thank you. What a charming gesture. Okay. Let's check out all the places. Alright, so we can... Buy some alcohol, get into a bar fight, play drunk and darts. Okay, let's do that. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Okay. We got 120 points. Was that good? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's just leave. I think we can get run over by a car, we need to be careful. Go into this place. Buy something, or get the hell out. We're pretty good right now. Let's talk to this dude. Uh, so he's a drug dealer. Let's just move on for now. We don't even have four hundred dollars. This is okay. Funky Town Five O Convenience Store. All of our HP is intact, so I think we're okay. We have to watch our little time bar up there. Bus depot, okay. We're just gonna avoid that for now. I think we need to go back and sleep since we used up all of our time to work all day. Let's go back. Let's talk to this guy real quick. Hey man, do you have any smokes? I'm old enough to smoke. It's just I uh forgot my ID at home, please. I don't think we will at this time. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sleep. Okay. So now it's day two. Save. I think we can go to the gym. Let's try that. Where is that? So this is where we can better ourselves, University of Stick. Okay. 
Go to class, study. Is there a way to go faster? <laughs> Don't know. I think we increase in HP if uh, we work out. Save. Let's check this out. Um, coma s snooze bed. How can we hassle or help you today? Alright, that's $500. Okay, so this is our stats. We are a mixed slave, apparently. It's in there, nothing. I think we do have to give that kid some smokes. Something's telling me that's what we need to do. So let's buy some. Okay. So yeah, he gave us a, his skateboard. Hold shift when walking. Okay, cool. What we want to do is get into a bar fight and get a better job. Oh yeah, we haven't even checked this out yet. This is the... Apply for a job? Uh, we need 20 intelligence. How much intelligence do we have? Only 14. Okay. What's going on in here? Play the slots. Uh, how can we empty your pockets? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got the 20 intelligence. Let's get that job. Oh, we are our janitor. Awesome. Hey, it's Bob, your boss. I'm in the office. Really drunk. You're the new janitor, right? Better bring him up. Excellent. If we buy that expensive bed, does it restore more of our... Let's build up a little bit more strength. And uh, get into a bar fight. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Uh, what do I do? Oh. Uh... Whoa! <laughs> bye bye It froze. What does that mean? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? There we go. Nice. You find nine dollars in the dead guy's wallet.
Back then, all we had was rocks and hats to play with, and you can't eat rocks, you know, boy, Miss Taily and Scratchy and Bitey and Furry. Okay. Let's see how much intelligence it takes to, um, to level up, to get a promotion. 40 intelligence! Jeez! Let's try another bar fight. Yeah. <sighs> Froze again? Are you kidding me? Maybe I was just doing it wrong. Okay. Leave. So let's just get our intelligence up to 40 so we can get that new job. doesn't say what these do to help us out. I really want that bed. Nice, so we have 40 intelligence now. We can go and get that promotion, hopefully. Mailroom clerk, $10 per hour. Hey, it's Gary from the mailroom. Just wanted to let you know that a few of us went out for drinks to celebrate your promotion. Uh, sorry you couldn't be there. Thanks, guys. Oh, I haven't even been in the bank yet. Okay. Current interest rate. Okay. Now we have zero dollars. Nice. Seventy-five. Ooh. I hope I use my money wisely. Doesn't appear to restore any more health than I had before. Go. Uh oh, this guy's um pretty tough. Come on, take him out. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> Okay, then. Let's try gambling. A little bit. Play the slots. Okay. Oh, we did win something. 75? What is that? <laughs> this really is how... Oh, there we go. Only 25! Hmm. Two in a row. Okay, let's leave. Let's play that. Ah. 
They weren't working before, I don't know why. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, I don't think that's a game for me. Okay. Okay. That's enough of that. I guess we should put just all of our earnings into the um, bank. Okay, let's go ahead and try to buy some of this from him. Sure. Okay, so now what do we do with that? I have no idea. Go here. Okay. Don't have enough money. Oh, this is just selling. Oh, we need some money first. I'm gonna try going to the most expensive place here. Sure, Las Vegas, why not? Oh, they leave first thing in the morning? Okay, that's what it was trying to tell me. How do I sell this stuff? Tell me. Let's buy that. Oh, the caffeine pills were used? Okay. So you can see the little sliver is a lot smaller. What in the world? I don't get it. Oh, now I don't have enough money. Ugh. Okay, I think I get it now. It does help if you have enough actual money to buy the bus ticket. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Okay, so I just looked it up. The uh, the clock has to be completely white. So I need the alarm and the caffeine pills. Okay, finally it's early enough. Oh my gosh, and now I don't have enough money. <laughs> oh my god. This better be worth it. Okay, you take one step off the bus in Las Vegas and are jumped by three guys and a chick. They take all your money and your stash. Maybe you should be packing heat next time. They take all my money? Sucks. I'm glad I put some in the bank. I should have probably got the alarm clock way in the beginning. I'm definitely ready for a promotion. Congratulations, you're now a salesperson. $15 an hour. 
I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty good about myself. Look, we've turned to white. Okay, here's our message. This is Frank, your sales manager. Just thought I'd let you know that if you don't make the monthly sales quota, no one will ever find your body. See you at work. Yeah, that sounds like work. I think the color has something to do with our pureness. So the red guy is really not pure. We need to find out how much that gun is. 400. I'm gonna buy the cell phone too before I try that again. The knife we bought was apparently not good enough to protect us in Las Vegas. Okay, now we got three attack points. We can do a fireball. We went straight from punch, kick, to fireball. We only did four damage though. These guys are terrible compared to us. Oh, now we've got ammo for our gun, I guess. Okay, so I want to try selling the drugs again. Okay, so what city should we check out? I'm not going to do Las Vegas again. That didn't seem like a good idea. Let's go to Chicago. You get off the bus and walk the streets of Chicago. You come across a dark alley and hear noises from behind. Three large cats attack you from all sides, leaving you unconscious near a dumpster. A passing bum raids your wallet and your stash. You're weak as a kitten. What? Come on! Can I believe that crap? We got attacked by three large cats. So I guess we need to do like a whole lot more fighting, I don't know. We can shoot a firebomb, but we cannot take on some cats. Fireball, I should say. Heck yeah. Oh, now we we went straight up from sales to an executive person. I'm not sure why that happened. Let's see what hilarious message we got this time. Hi, it's Sue from the executive board. Thought I'd remind you that you're due in court tomorrow for that sexual harassment claim against you. Have a good one. I am determined to make this work. Okay, so now what city should we try? Brooklyn? Sure. 
You get off the bus and walk the streets of Brooklyn. You come across a dark alley and hear noises from behind. Three large cats attack you. I don't know what we need to do to get to that level. I guess I'm not going to try it until we're at like 100 strength or something. I don't know. So I just noticed that there's a button for rob the place. Nice, we finally got the pure energy attack. And it didn't do hardly anything. Whoa, 45! So glad we killed that guy. Okay, we should be ready for our next promotion. Let's see what it is here. Vice President. $50 an hour. Wow. That is a lot of money. Let's get in- uh, no we can't. I was gonna say let's get into a fight, but our time was all up. Check messages. Hey, Mr. Vice Prez, congrats, it's Stuart, your assistant. The CEO of the company has the flu, so you have to fill in for him volunteering at the hospital. It's Bedpan Tuesday. My favorite. Maybe third time is a charm? I don't know. Okay, let's try Detroit. While in Detroit, you accidentally track dog crap onto a Girl Scout group's hopscotch layout. Troop 61 leaves you lying on the street with no cash and no stash and a mouthful of stale cookies. Maybe you should buff up a bit more. Uh. At least it was actually a human this time and not... A cat. Okay, we are the CEO. $100 per hour. There's no other promotions past that one. Okay. Hey, it's Stuart. Look, now that you're the CEO, I'm not your assistant anymore. You, uh, wanna go out sometime? Call me. Alright, this is the fourth or fifth time we've tried to do this. I don't know if it's gonna work. Alright, let's try Camden. You get off the bus and walk the streets of Camden. You come across a dark alley. Seriously? Okay, so, so far we've saved up enough money to buy a bigger apartment. I do not know who's playing this enough to get the castle. Let's just go ahead and buy that. Oh, do we have to actually withdraw it? Yep. Alright, let's see what did that money buy us. Okay, so it looks slightly different.
Let's go swing by a computer. All right, let's do that. So what does the computer do for us? Buy and sell stocks? Okay. <laughs> Three. Okay. Alright, so we can invest in the stock market with the computer, but we can't do anything else, I guess. It's kind of cool. The last thing that I want to do is be able to sell those drugs. I don't know how we're so weak. I don't know if it has to do with our purity as well, because we're completely white. We're just going to keep upgrading our strength. Alright, let us try... I think we've tried every single one. Let's try LA. You arrive in the city and have received the following offer. One gram of cocaine for $50. What? I bought that for $400. It was a terrible deal. Uh, I guess I'll take it. Well, at least we didn't get ambushed that time. That was pretty much the last thing I wanted to check off my list. I really do wonder what the castle looks like, but oh my gosh, you need $500,000. Hey hun, it's Takesha. I bought some goods from you last night. I like your style. Keep pouring on that charm and I might pay you a bit more next time. See you soon, baby. Alright, I think I'm gonna end it here. I played 100 days of Stick RPG. I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I will see you in the next episode.